In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean, filter, and store your deep fryer oil so you can use it again. So the first thing you're going to need is uh, a little pot or a big ladle. Okay, this is a very important piece over here. You're going to need a metal funnel with a little screen. Okay, and that screen is going to filter out the larger particles inside your used deep fryer oil. Okay, so this little contraption uh, is a very handy thing to have and you definitely want to get one. Now the third thing is you're going to need a container to put the oil back into it. What I do is I take the container that the oil originally comes in and I reuse that for my oil. In this case we have I believe it's a two and a half gallon container and I write the date down when I first bought the oil that way I have an idea of how old the oil is and when I started using it and I write on it what type of oil it is because I want to know what the smoking point of that oil is or how hot can I get that oil when I deep fry. And it's just a very quick reference for me to look at the container. Now this is what I use for my deep fryer. This actually is a deep fryer. It's called a fryer pot. Okay, and I use about a gallon, gallon and a half of oil in there. So uh, the first thing I want to do is look at the thermometer just to make sure that the oil is cool enough for me to handle. All right, so here we go. Uh, now I know I'm not gonna burn myself. Now we can go back to the oil. Now how do I know that I can reuse this oil? Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at it. Does it have any foam on top? Is it black? No, so it's good to use. Okay, and the second thing I'm gonna do is just take a quick smell. Okay, if it smells fine, I'm gonna go ahead and filter it and I'll reuse it in the future. If it doesn't smell good, I'm going to throw it out. So what smells would you be looking for? Well, if the oil has gone bad, it's probably going to smell like a very strong cheesy smell, a very strong fishy smell, or it's going to smell like, very, to me, it smells like very strong cardboard. Okay, usually rancid oil to me always smells like cardboard. This one here does not. So we're going to go ahead and filter it. All right, so let's filter this oil. So I have my funnel here, and I just want to show you a little closer up here is you can take this little screen out, okay, it'll filter some of that oil, some of the particles in the oil, okay. You can go as far as to put some cheesecloth inside of this, um, or even a coffee filter. It's going to take you a lot longer to filter the oil, but it will get some of that even finer uh, particles from the oil, but I think that using this is good enough for my purposes, so now we'll continue. All right, so I'm going to remove the lid from this, I'm going to put my funnel in the container. I have a rag down here, and I'm going to take the fryer pot and just move it over here. Okay, at this point I don't need this thermometer anymore. Okay, and I'm going to start filtering the oil back into the container. Now, if you get into a situation where the dirt particles have actually clogged up the funnel, you simply just get a spoon and just start moving the oil around and it'll drain. You can see all the leftover dirty particles that would have otherwise gone into your oil, but this little nifty gadget has saved it and filtered it out. Okay, when my fryer pot's almost empty, I can just go ahead and tip the whole thing. And once again, get my little spoon and just help it go down. Put the cap back on it and store it somewhere dark and cool and you are good to go for the next frying.